welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be closing out paycheck one for the month of May and then setting up paycheck two. I will also be stuffing my cash wallet, my saving challenges, and my sinking funds. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. How did the first week of May go for you? You guys won't believe what happened to me. We're gonna get into that and let's get started. Also, if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will consider joining us in the family over here so looking at this last week which went from friday to thursday so i did have my dental and vision bill that got paid i did go to physical therapy i am coupling my physical therapy along with this like this massage chair that i have so what ended up happening was i think i slipped and got like a crook in my neck whatever they call that thing when i went to my physical therapist i told her i didn't know if i pinched a nerve or pulled a muscle and she was able to confirm that i pulled a muscle so that is what i have been dealing with but i feel a million times better i'm gonna have to get a new pillow so we'll be on that journey pretty soon i did go to church back to back visit family celebrate cinco de mayo had a business bill, a personal bill. I did go to Bible study as well. That is going to bring us into next week. So today is Friday. I'm going out of town tomorrow to see my grandmother for Mother's Day weekend. Then I'll be with my mom on Sunday. This bill was already paid. And next week, our July kits go live. So these are the patterns for July. We have the 4th of July theme, which I am rewinding from last year. And then I have the ocean theme. In this video, I am not going to go into details and show you guys each individual sticker because next week I'm going to be posting a video solely dedicated to the stickers and then let you guys see the stickers in the additional planners, which will be Erin Condren 85 by 11 Happy Planner in both classic and big sizes. So I'll be doing a dedicated video next week to show you guys every single sticker that I have in the kit and then how it fits in each planner. Um, but I just want to show you guys the design. I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty, so summer-ish. And I don't know if you can tell in the thin washi, but those are sea, uh, seashells in the thin washi. And so these are our two themes for the month of July coming out next Friday. So next week is pretty chill. I'm excited about that. I'm going to go hang out with my older sister she's my play sister but she's my older sister next on next saturday and i think the rest of the month minus my mom's birthday weekend will be pretty chill today is actually my parents 39th wedding anniversary so happy anniversary mom and dad so we did have a no spin day on tuesday of this week and that was the only day that we had a no spend i had a coffee day on Wednesday and Thursday. So I don't even hardly have any room over here. <laughs> Let's just stick it in the corner right here. We know that was Bible study. And on Thursday. Also had a date night last week, Friday. So like right when I finished my video that night, I'm just gonna put that there. And that's all I have for the calendar. My self-care was to go and get that physical therapy deep tissue slash adjustment massage. Also wanted to know, I got a couple comments about the nails. So if you guys like these, I got them from Amazon and I do have a category in my Amazon storefront for like nails. When I find some cute press-ons on Amazon that you guys might like, I throw it in there. So these are in the storefront on Amazon, which is linked in the description box if you like these and wanna match your kit. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the exact amounts for my bills. So Netflix, we budgeted $17. It came out to $16.77. For dental and vision insurance, we budgeted 30, and that came out to $29.97. And then my cell phone, I budgeted 83, which I need to go down to 82. That came out to be $81.77. My electricity invoice did come in for this month and it is going to be $136. And under my additional expenses, I forgot to include Mother's Day. I just put my mom's birthday 
I'm budgeting $100, so that's gonna bring my total to $8.26 instead of $7.26 for the month. I'm going to come over here and write in my bill amount on the bill due sticker. Okay guys, so for my paycheck, I set up my personal bills and expenses over here, both fixed and variable. So for bills, I expected to only spend $46.74, but I did forget about my cell phone bill that needed to come out. So $46.74 plus $81.77 is $128.51. So my bills this week were actually $128.51. My cash envelopes, I spent everything in the wallet. There's nothing left over. Sinking funds got their 72, saving challenges got their 22, and then for my additional expenses, I spent everything. So we are over budget this week because of bills. So, oh, what y'all, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so how about I got a letter. Now I know that I have checked my mailbox since March. But somehow I got a letter from the IRS dated that it was in March. I was like, nah, last time I checked my mailbox, this letter was not in here. But it's possible that maybe it accidentally got placed in another mailbox and then they came back and put it in mine. So I don't know. But I got a letter from the IRS saying that I owed like a little over $400 left on my taxes. I was like, what the heck? I paid all my taxes off from 2022. What I did not realize, which is only a confirmation for me, was that when you do an installment plan for your taxes, meaning you don't pay it all up front, they charge interest and fees. Didn't know that. So the additional $400 was a mix of interest and fees. So that's what the letter had told me. And I was like, okay, definitely didn't know that. On the bright side, which we're gonna continue to look at the positive, is once I called the IRS to check my balance, it was only 239.31. So it was not 400 and something. So I went ahead and paid that. And I was like, this only confirms what I've been telling y'all about. I am not paying my taxes on a payment plan like ever again. God willing, I will always pay my taxes. Whatever the balance is that's owed, I will always just pay that. So I ended up owing the IRS an additional $239.31. So I am going to call them back. I kept the letter just to verify that the balance is now zero. So that's what happened here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our actual amounts. We don't need this green pen. <laughs> Nothing is green. So 128.51 minus 46.74. We are in the red. Oh, yeah, the the cell phone bill. We're in the red 81. 77, 81, 77. All these amounts got their exact. We are in the red for unbudgeted two. Technically this was, technically this was unbudgeted two, but meaning I didn't take it out of my paycheck, but because bills already has a category, I'm just gonna put it there. So 239, 31. So that's how much we are in the red. So let's add this up. 81.77 plus 239.31 equals 321.08. But this week we actually spent $821.82. 2182 That puts us at a negative 32108. And I'm going to notate over here that we had a red week. So, moving into paycheck 2, I well, the taxes thing, like I really didn't have a way of notice of knowing that or noticing that. But as far as my cell phone bill being an oversight, I really took more time looking at my calendar, making sure that I'm not missing any bills and things like that. So sometimes you can get so accustomed to what you're doing 
and you know what you're doing and you just know how to do it that sometimes you can overlook things not pay attention and then that's how you can end up in the red as well so I don't have any bills due this week you guys saw I only had that one I only had that one business bill but it was already it's already been paid and then my next personal bill will be on the next check which is my car insurance so sinking funds will get 72 saving challenges will get 32 I went ahead oh see I should separate it I'm gonna go ahead and separate it no I'm not gonna separate it because I don't want to confuse myself but I was looking at Mother's Day and like putting Mother's Day under extra expenses but I did also include it in just like a, a cash envelope so I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is to make it a little bit easier for myself so 200 plus 72 plus 32 is 304 So this is what we are expecting to spend this week. Now, I do have $25 in my April and May sinking fund, and I'm going to take that money out and this $25 in there, I'm gonna add another $25 in there, which is gonna make $50 for Mother's Day. Okay, y'all, so <laughs> I've changed my mind. I am going to go ahead and put that Mother's Day under the extra expense i didn't want to confuse myself because i'm taking 25 like i said out of this paycheck and adding it to the 25 in my sinking funds to make 50 but when i think about doing my weekly check-in as well as my expense tracking i need to have those two things separately so i'm gonna go ahead and just switch it up like that so that's accurate and then we'll move on to weekly check-in so like I said, I spent everything in my wallet. I have not been able to really save money from my wallet um, as of lately. But at least, you know, I don't have like a spending spirit like I did last time. So, so I'm gonna be flipping back and forth between this page and my monthly budget page to get my remaining balance for the rest of this month. So for this week, spending is going to get 10. I'm gonna do 35 in gas because I pretty much still have like a full tank. So, and I'm not gonna, I mean, it might take me the rest of this week to get down to E. And then if I do, then I can put like $30 in it or the whole 35. Groceries will get 70 home. Is going to get 10 I actually don't need anything so the only thing I'm gonna get with that is some more like plug-ins just to stock up um, eating out is gonna get 50 because I'm going out of town tomorrow and then beauty and meds are gonna not gonna get anything I actually did buy meds last week with my spending money I bought some um, painkillers okay y'all so next I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my expense tracker for the week I did not do a great job with this last month so I want to start this month off strong in this area so let's get started okay y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight under the balance area for each category just one time and then put the remaining balance for the month and I always do this by just referring back to the weekly check-in because it will tell me what I have left. So I'll take you guys with me through this process. So spending, I have $90 left. Actually, this is incorrect because <laughs> I spent $11 instead of 10. So I have $89 left. So that's also another way um, that kind of having it in two different areas can help you you know be more accurate with your numbers okay so I went ahead and fixed that to $11 and I actually should have put that in red and 89 so I'm gonna get creative here so I don't have to highlight uh, so I don't have to white white out the highlighter and make that 80 and just bring it down and make it nine so gas has 135 left for the month groceries has 210 home 
I actually spent 14 instead of 15. So home would have 46 left instead of 45. Home has 46. There we go. And then eating out has 100 left. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. And this is how I do my expense tracking and I verify with my weekly check-in page. Okay, I don't think I mentioned that I would be doing a small, very small, the smallest of this year, bill condensing at the end of this video is just gonna be my saving challenges and one cash envelope because y'all know we had, we are in week three of starting over. So let's count the money. So we have And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 489. I did take out the 304 from one bank and then 185 from another, so we have 489. And I think I still have some white in stock. I know, I think the website says sold out, but I think I still have a few more. And then I know I need to restock my pinks. Um, they've been out of stock for a little minute. Okay, so spending is going to get 10. And gas is getting 35, so 20, 30, and five. I don't know about you guys, but like, I really love spending cash. Like, I really love using cash. It's almost like my debit card has become uncomfortable for me. It's like, I don't like using my debit card. I will if I have to, but I much prefer much rather prefer using cash it's very like tangible like i can see right then and there and my over budget and my under budget and then like with using cash i don't have to worry about you know over swiping and so i just i love using cash home is getting 10 eating out is getting 50. and i believe that is it yep so um I got some coins to put in my coin jar. Hopefully in the next like couple months, I'll be ready to empty that, empty it out for cash. I'm going to scan my receipts into Fetch Rewards and then these on my cards and that is the end of that. Okay, so moving on to the saving challenge stuffings. We're going to be putting 12 into our card challenge. And so let me get the check mark sticker and I did want to answer some questions that I've been getting quite a bit in the last couple of videos they they have all been in reference to like products so I've gotten the question of when our envelopes coming back so I'm in the process of bringing them back I wanted them to be available by the 17th along with the stickers they may not be available by the 17th. They will be available this month, however. So my, my goal was the 17th. I'm just not sure if we're gonna make it to the 17th. If we don't make it to the 17th, it'll be sometime this month. And as soon as I'm able to give you guys a date, I will. Um, another question I've been getting is about these binders. These binders are completely sold out. Like I have, <laughs> y'all have nothing. Like <laughs> I have my design for the dashboards that I made, but I have nothing. So. These will be back in quarter four for 2025. I've created a whole new dashboard for them and then I have to order more binders. So these are sold out. And then I have also been asked a lot about my planner. So this is an Erin Condren seven by nine monthly planner. 
Her monthly planners mean that after the calendar is only line paid. Well, there's a dashboard. There's a calendar, the dashboard. Oh, that's when I was trying stuff out. And then there's just line pages. And so this planner, not the cover per se, but this particular planner is linked in my description box under, I think it's like right at the top. I think it says my budget planner. And this planner is, is there. Um, I think she sold out of these covers, but the planner itself is still um, available in other colors. So I just wanted to address those because I have, have been seeing that I've been getting those same like three questions in like my last several videos. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this one and have your answers. So in the card challenge, we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 235, 240, 245, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 266 dollars. And then we will do the um, rose gold binder and we're gonna stuff the 20 in here. Y'all, I love, the new dashboard is so pretty. Now the good thing about these binders is once you get them, like this is re a reusable system. So the only thing um, you would need is a new dashboard and I am gonna sell dashboards only for those of you who already have this binder but this is a reusable system so at the end of the year you can empty out your money and use it again next year and the envelopes are the ppc material so these are tear resistant water resistant weather resistant so i love that about this binder i will be using it again next year myself and um, i use these wet erase markers so i'm just going to at the end of this year just wipe all this off and change out my dashboard for my 2025 dashboard and then just reuse it again next year so i'm very excited about that okay so let's grab a 20 and flip to the may um envelope here we go and so in our may envelope we have 20 30 31 and 32. And I'm going to leave the amount card out so it can dry. I am gonna check right quick and just make sure that to see if I updated, I did not. So I need to update my bill tracker. So I'm just gonna put to today's date which is not the fourth it is the fifth my goodness it's 5 10 and that bill was 81.77 so i'm gonna do 332 plus 81.77 is 413.77 that's how much we've spent in our cell phone bill approximately this year and I do believe that my other trackers have been updated for the bills that have come out so far. Yes. Okay, y'all. So week three of starting over in our sinking funds. Okay, so birthday is going to get a dollar. Today is the 10th. And in birthday, we have 20, 21, 22, and 23. I finally decided on my birthday plans, which I'm not gonna tell y'all what they are right now. You just have to stay tuned. Hopefully I can have a video, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, my birthday is in August and it is my Jesus year. I'm gonna be turning 33, honey. And I'm so excited about it. Um, I have like, I, I, I've been saying all year, like, oh, I'm 33. And I keep forgetting, like, no, I'm 32. I'm not 33 yet. Um, but I think I'm just excited because it's my Jesus year. Y'all know I love Jesus. So 
I have 10, 15, 20. I'm very excited about those plans. I think it's gonna be fun and I hope that I can, uh, like I said, make that video and take you guys along with me. For some reason, the travel videos just haven't been happening this year and it's crazy because I've actually been traveling a lot, but I don't know, it's like I just get so busy with making sure everything is done that needs to be done Oh no, y'all, my pen is going out. And the saddest part about it is I knew it was going out. Like I just, I knew. I was like, it's only a matter of time. <sighs> 20, 25, and 30. I need to get some refillable so I could just refill the ink. And this one doesn't feel too. This one might be going out as well. I've had both of these for a long time. So let me go grab my black pen, y'all. Hold on. I love that pink pen so much. It is so, like, it's an easy write, it's smooth. I write, my fingers don't hurt when I'm writing. I love that pen so much. Okay, so Outings is going to get a five for 10, 15, and 20. And I did want to thank you guys on my starting over video a couple weeks ago. Like, y'all showed your girl a lot of love. Y'all were letting me know, like, April was a crazy month for a lot of us. I don't want to keep talking about it because I don't want to bring that energy into May. And we're already starting off <laughs> in the red. But I did want to tell you guys thank you for all of your very supportive, encouraging comments in that video. So card maintenance has 20, 40, 60, and 80. I guess I must have missed uh, riding on the tracker for one week. Miscellaneous is going to get $2. And we are working on rebuilding these funds back. So we'll see where we are by the end of the year. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, gifts is also going to get two dollars. Four, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So Oh, yeah, let me go ahead. I'm sorry that I'm saying it this late in the video, guys. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, all the, um, let's go ahead and break this down, to the birth moms, the adopted moms, the grandmothers, the godmothers, oh my God, baby, the godmothers, the aunties, the spiritual mothers, the mother-like figures what else am i missing something is that it the moms who your babies are in heaven happy mother's day to all of you 100 110 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. happy mother's day I need to start like saying happy Father's Day. Like I know um, not a, a whole lot of men follow me. Um, Cause I know I'm like <laughs> pink everything. So I know not a whole lot of men follow me, but I do want to remember um, to celebrate the fathers as well. Father-like figures. And then also to your husbands, your sons, your dads. Happy Father's Day to them. 15.
Okay, y'all, so forgot to say it earlier in the video, but definitely want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day because the next time you see me or I see you, um, it will have passed. So, car tags um, will get $2. If y'all have any plans for Mother's Day, y'all let me know what's going on. Like, so we're going to Louisiana to see my grandmother tomorrow, and then I'm going to church with my mom on Sunday. We're just doing a one day trip. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. And that's gonna be my Mother's Day weekend. Um, and if Mother's Day is hard for you, if you've lost your mom or lost a baby or lost a mother-like figure, my condolence to you, condolences to you um, during this time as well. And I hope that you find something that brings you joy on that day and lifts your spirit. I know a few people personally that struggle with this day. Um, a mom I know lost her only son in a car accident. And uh, my big sister, the one I was telling y'all about, it, with my calendar earlier, her mom passed away when she was 21. And then she had a mother-like figure who passed away, I think, a couple years ago. So um, it's very hard for some people. We all will have to walk down that road where these holidays won't be so joyful at some point in our lives. So we always want to be mindful of those who this time of year is not a happy time for them and send up a prayer for them. So electronics has one, two, three, and four. Um, there we go. And those who may not be moms yet and they are longing for a bundle of joy, we remember you as well and send up our prayers and good vibes. Emergency is going to get a five. I just try to include everybody in in these, in the holidays. Try to include everybody, if, wherever you may fall. I want you to know that you are thought about. So emergency has 1,200. This is in the bank. And then five, 10, and 15. I'm actually going to change this five out because... I will be taking this 15 out along with my savings sinking fund. I think it was 15 in there as well. And I'm going to add that to the bank because y'all know uh, your girl has been making some investments and I'm trying to put the money back. So wherever I can put it back, I will. Giveaways is going to get $2. And did I pull it out already? No, we should have nine. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And Christmas will get $10. Man, I, oh Lord, I really hope that we can make some good progress in this envelope. Because Christmas is like, I think somebody says like 30 something weeks away. 20, 30, 40, 50. Which I tend to not need a whole lot of money for Christmas. Um, because we pull names in our family for Christmas gifts. Like we don't buy christmas gifts for everybody you know but we do have um i have a goddaughter and she has a little brother now and i have a niece and so the children are being added to the equation functions will get two dollars i gotta buy something for my boyfriend i don't know what he's gonna want but we'll figure it out 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then the very month, very next month after in January, I have a nice amount of birthdays. So, and then car tires will get $2. Y'all, 
I think I might be missing something because I have an extra five left. So I'm not sure if I missed something or not. I should only have one five left. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm gonna have to go back through my, um, go back through my envelopes and my wallet to see if I missed anything. Okay, I did miss something. I forgot the $25 that I told you guys um, that I'm going to use for Mother's Day. So 20 and five. Man, these are some rough bills. They're so flimsy. So this 25 will be for my mom for Mother's Day and then I am have that additional 25 from, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take it out. That additional 25 from April, April and May that I'm going to um, use as well. So we're, we'll just go ahead and remove that so that I could put all my money um, together. Oh, April and May have five. Coming back to the bank envelope. Now we have the 50 that we need. Okay, so the first envelope that we are going to condense is going to be my guy baby. And she's gonna get a 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So she has 120. And that's it for sinking funds. And for the card challenge, we are going to do 155. Again, I am not trying to break my envelope. So let's go 50, 70, 90, 100. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And then one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. So 100, 250, 260, 265, 267. Okay. And so we are done. Sorry about that, y'all. I live next to a main street. And lastly, it's gonna be the rose gold binder and April is going to get a 20. Let's move to April and take out two tens and give it a 20. And so that's gonna be it for our little mini bill condense. Not much to do, but I figured I'd go ahead and at least condense my card saving challenges so that that envelope doesn't break on me because I didn't start over in my saving challenges, just the sinking funds. And so I wanted to make sure that we did that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for another week and another video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below about how your first week of May went or what are your plans for Mother's Day weekend. I would love to read about it. As a reminder, I will be back next week before Friday to do a video with you guys of all the new planners that will be in the shop uh, or stickers for the new planners and then show you guys the stickers, show you guys how to put them in the planners in preparation for our May 17th launch. I will keep you guys updated on the envelopes so we can know when those are coming back. But thank you guys so much for your patience and for rocking with your girl for another week of budgeting. I will see you back next week. Bye.